everyone, nice to meet you again with the Disney 3D Art YouTube channel. Today's video with a new comment from Ms. Hoang Lu Tru also from Baria Vung Tau Province, Vietnam. Request, Genie Tilda Aladdin, 1992. Okay, let's start with the character Genie in the movie Aladdin Everyone. The Genie is the tritagonist of Disney's 1992 animated feature film Aladdin. He is a larger-than-life jinn residing in a magic oil lamp originating from the Cave of Wonders. For thousands of years, the genie served as a slave to whomever held ownership of his lamp, to which he was eternally bound unless granted freedom by a master. The genie possesses phenomenal cosmic power that allows him to grant wishes, shapeshift, and transcend space and time. The genie is loosely based on the genie of the lamp featured in the 1001 Nights folktale, Aladdin. The figure in the tale, while important, was portrayed as a mere slave while the Disney interpretation was greatly expanded into an identifiable character personality. The most notable difference being the Disney genie's ultimate wish to be free. Genie was originally a slave imprisoned within his lamp, which, itself, was sealed away in the Cave of Wonders for 10,000 years. Though he possesses phenomenal cosmic powers, he is bound to an itty-bitty living space, and can only use his powers when the owner of the lamp, his master, makes a wish. He occasionally does things without granting a wish, but never anything that greatly affects the world around him. He is also bound by three laws. He cannot kill anyone, he cannot make people fall in love with each other, and he cannot revive the dead. It is possible, however, that he can do the third one, but as he puts it, it's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it. Alternatively, it could mean that while he can revive a person's corpse, he cannot bring them back properly. Each master has three wishes, and cannot exceed this amount by wishing for more wishes. After enduring 10,000 years of imprisonment, the lamp comes into the possession of Aladdin during the course of the first film. And Genie remains in servitude until Aladdin uses his third and final wish to grant Genie his freedom at the end of the film. As well as largely driving the plot in the first film, Genie serves as a comic relief element in each of his appearances. He is shown to have shape-shifting abilities, which allow for many and varied side gags. His supernatural disposition permits him to break the fourth wall, as well as parody real-life people and popular culture completely outside of the boundaries of the universe in which he is contained. Robin Williams is responsible for most of these because he improvised many of the lines in the film. Genie's true name, if he has one, has never been revealed. He answers to being called, Genie, and never says he has a real name. First, draw the body to the front legs, then paint it dark blue and red to make Genie's pants. Don't forget to draw the shoes brown. Next is to draw two arms wearing yellow bracelets for Genie. Next is to draw Genie's head and decorate his face, don't forget to draw two ears with one yellow earring. And finally, attach the mane of hair to Genie's head. So the character Genie in the movie Aladdin is complete. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe and click the bell to receive new notifications. At the same time, don't forget to download the app shop Disney and visit the website Disney Store to buy your favorite items, toys, accessories, teddy bears, clothes, etc as well as Disney Plus to watch animated movies and TV shows online, free of charge to more than 100 million users worldwide. Okay, wish everyone a happy March 8th, the International Women's Day. Goodbye and see you next time everyone.